Rigo on top of this termite mound. Now, this is out of time, last minute leopard. We are looking at the beautiful Tingana, the king of the termite mounds, it seems. He loves being up there. I'm sure also like a little bit like Tamba. Hmm. Now, Tristan apparently said that he was busy looking for leopard tracks. Just he's gone out on tracking team just to make sure to help us out a little bit this afternoon. And it seems like he's got blood on his neck. Not from him, not from an injury he sustained or anything else. But Tristan's got a feeling that he actually stole a kill from Tandi and Tamba. Now, the tracks for this male are all over the place like we had them this morning. And he said that he eventually bumped into him walking on the road. So we think that maybe Sneaky Tingana has actually gone and had a free meal and he stole a kill from Tandi because Tandi's tracks were, the tracks were a female leopard and a cub were on top of his tracks. So quite an interesting afternoon for all the cats around here. Hmm. After they made us work so hard this morning for all of them. Wonderful to see him, although a bit sleepy. <laughs> Hiding his face in shame for stealing the meal from a lady. I, to be honest, I don't. I actually don't think he's ashamed at all. <laughs> I think he's quite happy that he had a free meal. It seems like that's what he's roughly been doing lately. I think it's the second occasion where we suspect that he might have stolen a kill from Tandi and Tamba. Now it happens often with leopards, they are all opportunistic animals, so if any of them have got the chance to have a free meal, they will take it. And not just Ingana would do this, pretty much any other leopard would do, would do it. R wonderful camouflage. I wonder how often he lies on top of the termite mounds in the middle of this blocks away from the roads and none of us can see him. And I, we, I have a feeling he's been around, because was it about two nights ago, Sam, that we heard a male leopard nice. sawing close to the camp? And we'd been looking for a leopard the whole day, very close to camp, and just as we were closing down, right where we parked the cars, it sounded like the leopard was right there. So I'm sure Tingana's been making sure that nobody's trying any funny business around his area. <laughs> this is wonderful. Somebody's quite sleepy. Doesn't seem to be moving too much around. Beautiful. Are you going to have a very nice noose up there or are you going to start moving around? It is almost like a fantastic couch that he's got all the way up there, isn't it? Fernandes, you say all the cats are so sleepy today. Yes, I agree with you. They're all, they all seem to be quite sleepy, but I think it's because they have all been moving into quite late in the morning. Uh, I don't know if you were watching the show this morning, but it was very misty and it was very cold in the beginning of the, the drive. So I'm sure all of these predators were moving around. The tracks that we had this morning for Tandi and Tamba, they were very, very fresh. And I think we, we missed them just by, by nothing, to be quite honest. And that was roughly, I would say, about 8 o'clock that we had them as well. Or that we had the tracks that were looking quite fresh. So I think everybody everybody has been moving around. And especially if he's managed to find and steal a kill, I reckon he's probably quite tired. And we know that the Inkahumas were, the lions were moving into quite late this morning. So now they're going to have to sleep a bit longer than maybe that what they would normally do at this time of the year during the day. Just to recover and then they'll start moving around. And sometimes they can move very great distances during the night, especially if they're looking for food, which I think was the, is the case for both Tingana and the Enkohumas. Seems like the king of the termite mound is having a nice sleep, but let's go over to Jamie in the meantime, who's got a very regal lioness of her own. <laughs> 